Peggy 16. I'm Donny Matus, community manager at DICE, working for Battlefield by Company 2 Vietnam. The Vietnam Expansion Pack is based upon Bad Company 2, so you have all the significant gameplay features which you had in Bad Company 2 lifted over to Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Back in 2004, we released the game Battlefield Vietnam based upon Battlefield 1942, and getting loads of community requests to put up a new Vietnam game, so that's what we did. The community is very important when it comes to shaping DLCs and shaping games in general. I mean, we, we usually tend to take the feedback we get and we work it in the studio, we take the best ideas out of it, so don't stop giving us good feedback. So the types of vehicles we will be seeing in Battlefield by Company 2 Vietnam is uh, most era-specific vehicles. You have jeep-sized vehicles, you have two new tanks, you have the American patrol boat, the American Huey, and it's all for the realism of the game. The difference between the weapons in Bad Company 2 uh, and Bad Company 2 Vietnam are actually quite big. For the North Vietnamese side, you have the AK-47, you have the PPSH, you have the RPG. All of them are really rusty and tied together with cloth just to give you that ultra experience of you've been in the jungle a long time. And the same thing goes for the US side. The US side have M16s, they have the, the M79 grenade launcher. You no longer have scopes, you no longer have red dot sights. So you have to get really up close and personal this time just to take someone out. So yeah, it gets really intense in Vietnam. We have two new maps, one called Hill 137, where you fight up a hill, a luscious jungle, only to hit a really scorched village. And the other one is Vantage Point, it's a jungle, fishing village, whole of Vietnam is in there. Once you clear those two stages, you land in an American base and you have to take that. Also what we're showing here today is the brand new flamethrower we've added into the game and it really adds some extra flair to the game because you can't really hide from a flamethrower. We always work uh, to perfect our games, we always want to make our games 100% good. We want to give the players and our fan base the best multiplayer experience we can ever give them. 